Talk. I've got a wonderful show today. It is my pleasure and my honor to be with Miss Priscilla Adam Smith at Georgia Military College here in Dublin, and she's the director here at the Dublin campus. Campus. That, that's not a hard word to say. It's hard for me for some reason. Um, Priscilla, it's always a pleasure to sit and talk with you. I, I got to say, before we start anywhere else, I enjoy your smile, your personality. You were a board member with us at the chamber um, for a couple of years when I first came here, and it's just a pleasure to work with you. So thank you for taking some time out. Uh, I, I understand you've had a busy summer, uh, lots of things going on here at the campus. And uh, so thank you for taking some time this morning. Well, thank you. You've already been a pleasure to work with as well. Well, thank you. So just in case we have some folks watching the show today that, that don't know you as well as, as some folks, and I feel like I do, give me a little bit of the, the background in history. Um, I understand you did grow up here in Dublin, Lawrence County, but uh, a brief summary of how we got to this point in this day. Okay. Um, like you said, my name is Priscilla Adam Smith. I was born and raised here in Dublin, Georgia, graduated from Dublin High School, um, went to Georgia College to earn my bachelor's and master's degree, and then later to Georgia Southern to earn my education specialist. Um, after I um, graduated from high school, um, I, like I said, I pursued my college education and then started working with a program here called Healthy Start for about nine and a half years. But uh, my passion was always education. So I went on to work at East Georgia College, um, where I was assistant director of financial aid, director of continuing education, student employment manager. And so that was for about six years. And then I saw the opportunity to work at Georgia Military College. And so um, I started out at the Sandersville campus as the director there. I was there for three years. We had a very successful campus there. Um, the campus was growing. And then they decided to build a campus here in Dublin. And so when I was asked to lead and direct this campus, I was like, yeah, of course I would. And so that's how I'm here today at the Georgia Military College Dublin campus. Okay, so you've been here from, from day one. Yes, um, I came in um, February of 2015. We opened our doors in October of 2015. We started with about 80 students and today we have 300. Hey, you got ahead of me. I was about to ask you that next, but well, so you've grown from 80 to 300 yes. in six years. In, in four years. Four years. Four years. In we four came years. in 2015, yes. Wow. Um, a large part of our population is our dual enrollment population, and um, they come um, during the morning hours from 8 a.m. to 1040, and then from 11 to about 8, we have our non-traditional students. Okay, and, and we're going to get to a whole lot more of that in the program, but I want to back up just a second and ask you if you can remember at what point were you in the, the 8th grade, the 12th grade, or, or outside playing one day and, and thought, you know, that this is the career, this is the path that I think I want to take. How, how did that happen? Well, you? actually, it started at an early age. Um, I was about four years old. And I used to have my imaginary students, and I used to teach them in my imaginary wow. classroom. And I used to give them names. And every day I would play um, school teacher, I would give them different names. And you wouldn't believe how that has helped me today because I remember all of my students' names, and I know their names, I know their faces, and they'll, they'll be amazed when they see me two or three years later. And I say, well, hey, John, how are you? You still remember me? Yes, yes. Wow. Of about 800 students that came through GMC doors, I still remember their names. Wow, so you, you, that, that tells the passion and the care that you have for what you're doing. Priscilla, I'm ashamed to say, and it's funny, you just made me think about when you were saying that, but I remember career day uh -huh. uh, when I was in the fourth grade, and I just thought the coolest thing in the world was the guy at the grocery store who put the, the groceries in the bag, and that's so what you wanted I wanted to be a bag boy. Think, so, so I'm an overachiever. Okay. I've got far okay. beyond my, my bagging grocery. Actually, I've never never done that in my career. Really? But, but as um, long as you was the best bag boy you well, could be. I thought I was pretty good. There and, you and go. I practiced a lot at home. I used to get the, the groceries out of the cabinet and put them in a bag, and and, and then put them back. Well, there you go. So, there you go. But um, so education, is, is, is anyone else in your family or anybody else that inspired that or just, just something you came to do? It, it was. Um, like I said, I started early um, learning to um, um, want to be with students and, and a willingness to learn. And when I was in the first grade, I already knew how to read. And my first grade teacher let me read to the class. And that sealed the deal. Wow. <laughs> So just a, an early start and 
continuing? Yes, and continuing on. Education has always been my passion. And, and I see continued growth and good things happening for the future of the folks here at Georgia Military College. Thank you, so, thank um, you. We're going to take a real quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to get into some of the programs and, and different things that you guys are offering here uh, at Georgia Military College. We'll be right back. Dublin Ford Lincoln is honored to call many well-respected and wonderful people our friends. Burt Thigpen is one of those friends. It's just an easy process for me because they, they're with you when you buy it, but the main thing, they're with you when you, after you buy it, then they give you the service after you buy it. And that makes, to me, that's, that's three factors that, um, that I really look at, and they've done that ever since I've been here. Others call you customers, we call you friends. That's Dublin Ford Lincoln. Georgia Dermatology and Skin Cancer Center has been serving Georgia since 1996. Dr. Michael Sharkey, Dr. Jason Arnold, and Dr. Mark Bonner, along with PA's Tony Lynn Herring, Alan Manning, and Kelly Toller, have helped patients with Mohs skin cancer surgery, routine skin exams, and general and surgical dermatology. So come see the professionals at Georgia Dermatology and Skin Cancer Center, located in the Air and Office Park in Dublin. Call for an appointment today at 275-7546. Welcome back to the show. Uh, Priscilla, right before break, we, we mentioned growth here at Georgia Military College, and you mentioned, I think, to me coming up in the, the fall or late summer here, 300 students already enrolled. Already enrolled and still counting. We still have two weeks of registration to go. Classes start August the 5th. So are you guys still accepting? We are still students? accepting. We are still registering. We're probably going to hit about 320. Okay, and how do folks register if they're interested in attending Georgia Military? Well, first they have to apply for admissions, and that's done online. Um, there's an online application. Um, if they've never been to college, um, then they just simply send us their high school transcript or their GED transcript. Once we receive that, then we will schedule them to take the AccuPlacer test, that test in reading, writing, and math. That lets us know which classes to put the students in first. If they have been to college somewhere and they're coming to us as a transfer student, they simply need to just send us a copy of their college transcripts. Okay, and I'm guessing all of that can be done probably gmc.com or something? gmc.edu. .edu, and, and that'll get them started. Or they could come down to the campus? They can come down to the campus. We'll walk them every step of the way. Okay, and so 300 students, give me a little bit of a breakdown um, as to the areas that these folks are enrolled in. Um, you mean the programs? The program. Okay. Yes. Our largest program enrollment is in pre-nursing. Okay. Pre-nursing and then it's followed by business and then general studies. Because what a lot of students choose to do is say, if, for instance, if they're wanting to go to dental hygiene school or veterinarian school, um, before you go anywhere, your first two years are going to be your core classes. Right. And that's what GMC offers, okay. your basic core classes. Start here, go anywhere. Start here, go anywhere. That's it. That's it. And because we are accredited, our courses will transfer anywhere. Okay. So any one of those programs, if you come here to GMC, should be two years? Should be two years because we're an associate's degree granting institution. However, we do have some BAS, some Bachelor's of Applied Science degree program. We are in partnership with the um, technical colleges in Georgia, whereas if they, the student has an Associate's of Applied Science degree, they can come to GMC and get their Bachelor's of Applied Science degree. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and, and it's okay for those students like me that, that might take more than two years? It is, it is perfectly you welcome okay. Those folks as, we welcome as them as with as open as arms. As so talk to me a little bit about curriculum and, and how it's changed maybe, especially with technology. Are you seeing a difference in what's taught and how it's taught? Well, we, we probably could expand on our computer science major some because um, that is a hot field. We do have a cybersecurity um, degree program as well as homeland security. So we have seen that need and based on you know the trends in the, in the community and everything, we have added those programs to our curriculum. And, and let's talk a little bit about how those things come to, to pass. So I'm, I'm sure, you know, even being the director here at the campus, Priscilla doesn't get to wake up in the morning and say, you know, I think I'll add a new program <laughs> next fall or, or next semester. So, so tell me about that process and how that works for Georgia Military um, Sometimes new businesses will come into the community and say, we need this particular degree in order for this person to work here or um, it's a um, community-based need, and then they, the curriculum committee comes up with a program of study so that we can meet the needs of the community. 
And, and so do the individual campus directors, you guys all meet together, or where, where do these recommendations and, and how do they, I guess they go to a, a certain committee? That, yes, that, it, yeah. is, it is the curriculum members that's mainly made up of faculty members because okay. these are the people who are going to be teaching the students and they know what courses are needed in order to meet the objectives of, of the community that's asking for the need. So say, for instance, if someone comes and says, um, we need a log logistics and supply management. And so they will come up with the curriculum as to these are the courses, these are the objectives that need to be met, and then they um, disseminate that down to the campus directors. Okay, and, and let's talk about the student maybe that has applied online, they're having some difficulty, and, and whether, let, let's, let's talk about two different aspects. Okay. Maybe they're having educational difficulties and they're, they're not quite ready or, or can't pass the AccuPlacer. Or, or one area and or also if you would um, talk to me a little bit about financial assistance okay. or, or how you guys address okay. that. Um, first of all, the AccuPlacer is not a pass or fail. Okay. It's simply a placement test. That's all it is. And um, GMC is an open access institution. What that means is all you need is a high school diploma or a GED. There are no SAT requirements. There's no um, GPA requirement. If you graduated from high school or you have your GED, we welcome you at GMC. Okay. Okay. So there is no pass or fail for the AccuPlacer. Um, if the student does not score in the level of which to place them in a college level credit class, we have what we call learning support classes. They used to be called remedial classes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> we have learning support classes, mm -hmm. and these classes help the student. We prepare the student to be ready to take on the college level credit courses. And so um, typically you'll see students who have never made a B in high school and they come to GMC and they are in a remedial reading course or remedial math course and they make a B and it's like the light bulb goes off. It's yeah. like a change, you know, within sure. them because it's like, oh, I really can do this mm -hmm. college stuff. I can do it. And, and oftentimes they just need that little extra, you know, boost of confidence. Right. And financially, um, financial aid is available to those who qualify. And typically, um, it's about 90% of our students who attend GMC get some form of financial aid. Okay. So for those people who think, well, I don't have any money, I can't go to college, financial aid is available. And that is in the form of Pell Grant, in the form of HOPE, in the form of loans, as well as a Georgia Tuition Equalization Grant that is specific to GMC um, for students who are a Georgia resident and a full-time student at GMC. Wow. So there is financial aid available. So, you know, I was one of those students. I'm, I'm from a family of seven. I'm the only one in my um, family to graduate from college. And, and I never knew that I could go until, you know, I heard somebody, you know, say sure. financial aid is available. So for those students who think I can't go to school because of money, we remove that barrier right. because we let them know that it can be done. Right. And I think that's so important for folks watching the show today. If you desire to attend college, there, there is no reason today um, between financial assistance, between educational assistance, tutoring programs, whatever it is, um, most of the time I think you guys can work through just about everything to get somebody, uh, at least provide that opportunity mm -hmm. if they wish to pursue higher education. Yes, if the opportunity is there. Um, along the lines of academic assistance, you mentioned tutoring. We have free tutoring available. We have an academic success coach. So say, for instance, if there's a student struggling in, in a professor's class, that professor is going to recognize that. He's going to talk with that student and say, what can we do to help you? You know, is it the way that you're studying? Is it the way that you're taking notes? Let me refer you to the academic success coach. It may be that they just have to work on prioritizing their schedule, you know, so that they can get some study time in. So the assistance is there. If you want it, you know, we'll help you. Okay. So another thought just came to my mind as we're sitting here in, in this beautiful building that you guys have had. It's been renovated and, and classroom space but you just mentioned 300 yeah so at, at what point are you at capacity here and and with that is there any future plan or, or how would you guys expand or grow here um well actually an extension campus which what the Dublin campus is 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 250 students or less so we have exceeded that um when you when you have 300 <laughs> i yeah. know it's a good problem to have however um class sizes we we always pride ourselves on this um class size of 16 or less well with our dual enrollment population that simply is not going to happen mm 
Right. Um, it's going to be a class size of 20 to 25 students. And so right now we occupy the second through the fourth floor of classroom spaces. Um, we've looked at the fifth floor. Um, right now it's not conducive for classrooms. So um, we will cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. But, but a good problem. <laughs> but a good have, problem so. to have. Growth is always good. Okay. And at Georgia Military College, um, and I know this is important to a lot of folks today, but it, it seems like you guys address it in, in some aspects. Are there classes that are online classes as well as classes that you, you come to the campus? Is there a mixture? Can you do all of one or all of the other? How does that work? You can do all or or. A mixture you can do. You can come physically to the campus. You can do online. You can do all online. You can do one class online, one class in seat. We have that uh, flexibility. So we offer daytime classes, afternoon classes, and evening classes, as well as a couple of Saturday classes, and then the online classes as, uh, as well. So for the working student that you know work eight to five, um, afternoon evening classes start at five fifteen. Well, <laughs> so going back to our earlier conversation, I mean, there is really no reason whatsoever, no. any reason that if you wish to pursue um, higher education, uh, even on the weekends. Even on the weekends, yes. So, yes. Priscilla, what, which classes are, 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 how are these classes mostly attended? Do you do more online? Do you do more students in the classroom? Where, where do you think It's you're... trending more online for our non-traditional students, but our students age 18 to 25, they physically want to come to campus because they need that contact with that professor. Uh-huh. They want that connection. That's interesting with the uh, with technology and mm -hmm. the use of technology, and I'm sure it happens here, but folks sitting as, as far as from where we are to, to Kevin over there behind the camera, sending one another a text <laughs> message or something. Um, it's interesting to see that, that the folks come in. So do you, when your folks come in, lots of collaboration, lots of teamwork, and, and talk to me a little bit about the atmosphere on the campus here. At um, the Council. atmosphere on this campus is um, collegial, very collegial. Um, the students know that when they walk through the door that we want them here. We make that connection. It's that personal connection. Again, I know every one of the students when they walk down the hall. Hey, Miss Smith. Hey, Johnny. How are you? How are things going? You know, it's, it's letting them know that this is a community college and it's your college and we want you here. If you want to be here, you are welcome with open arms. And, and one last question before our next break, and, and I just thought of this, but I, I spend so much time with our businesses today, and, and they struggle so mightily with people showing up, people dressing properly, being on time, et cetera. How does that play into to the educational arena? Do you guys experience that on the maybe on the same level, or do you not see that as much with, with your students? Well, I think with the college, they're paying for it. So it makes it a little bit more valuable to attend class, and they know that um, attendance is very important because we feel if you can, if you don't attend, you can't learn. Um, but those soft skills are something that you know we really try to, you know, let them know that okay, it's important to come to class, to come to class on time, to dress appropriately, and to act appropriately while you're in class. So we do do that, but there is no soft skills class. Right. But it's incorporated into the yes. curriculum as yes. much as possible. Yes, yes. Possible. because our, one of our classes is called Critical Thinking and Character Development because we want to develop the whole character of the student. Right. That should almost be a requirement. <laughs> it is a requirement for, for GMC. So good, Before you good. get your associate's degree from here, you have yes. to take Critical Thinking and Character Development. I like that. Priscilla, thank you so much. Again, we're going to take one last commercial break, and we'll come back and wrap things up. This is a 24-ounce dry-aged porterhouse steak, a masterpiece. The sum of every delectable detail carefully considered. This is also a metaphor for your car. So when you don't put Toyo tires on your car, you're basically doing this. Your car deserves better. Count on the best. Choose Lakes Alignment, located just off Central Drive at East Dublin. Call 272-4230. Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking is Farmers State Bank. From our customer service professionals to our mortgage specialist or any of our professional lenders, we're committed to making banking as easy as FSB. Farmers State Bank, with locations in Dublin and Catwell, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Stop by today and find out why we make banking as easy as FSB. Welcome back to the show. Um, gee, I think my, my jaws are hurting from smiling and <laughs> grinning so much with you. Again, it's always a pleasure to, to get to sit with you. 
Um, you know, it, lots of wonderful things going on here, Priscilla, and I can see where the growth and the excitement, um, it certainly, those things happen from, from the top in, in leadership and how things are done. I think you guys have a, a dynamic team here, and, and certainly with your leadership here, that's just going to continue to flourish. Um, you mentioned briefly in, in one of our earlier segments some of the, the top maybe one or two um, degrees that, that uh, folks are pursuing today, but elaborate a little bit or expand on program offerings here and then what fields those are leading into. Okay, so um, not only about the pre-nursing and the general studies major, but we also have business management. Um, we also have psychology, we have paralegal, um, we have cyber secure, security, homeland security, um, and a lot of our students that major in business management they're wanting to open their businesses one day. Okay. They're wanting to, a lot of them are already managers in like fast food restaurants, retail shops, and they're wanting to pursue a, a BA in, in business management. So um, the, the choices that they're making on a two-year level as an associate's degree um, is going to propel them to be, you know, get those higher level positions right. once they get their bachelor's degree. Um, so again, we have 28 program offerings. Um, there's something for everyone. So we welcome them to come to GMC and start here and go anywhere. And so with, you just mentioned 28 programs. Mm -hmm. and, and is that 28 programs here or is that just throughout GMC? How many, how many different program offerings do we have right here? In um, it's 16 different programs offering here where they can actually okay. get their associate's degree here. Um, with, with the other programs, you have to get them mainly online. And, and that's mainly what our non-traditional students do. And, and I don't know if this is fair to ask. If it's not, you say you just call us or come see us and we'll talk about <laughs> it. But just a general idea um, for a, a, a class or a mm -hmm. semester or, or whatever cost-wise today. I know back when I was in school, um, things have changed. Right. And even as recent, uh, I was taking some courses maybe six years ago or so, and it was about seven fifty to 1000 um, per class. Is that still ballpark? That's or? still ballpark um, for a five-hour credit course, and we are on the quarter system. We're probably only one of two schools in the state of Georgia that's on the quarter system, and so about a five-hour class will cost you about $800. Okay, yeah. but but still want to remind folks there's a lot of opportunities for financial it's aid assistance. or assistance yes. there to help you through those, yes. those yes. times. Mm -hmm. So, Priscilla, again, been a wonderful day sitting here with you, chatting with you, and, and just getting an update on the things that are going on here at Georgia Military College and the campus here. Um, so I want to give you just a minute for the end of the show here to, to look into the camera and, and just to tell our viewers um, the wonderful things going on here and, and why they should make Georgia Military College their choice. Sure. So Georgia Military College is an open access institution. We provide, you know, training assistance, financial assistance, academic assistance, um, for those students who may not otherwise be able to get into a college because all you need is a high school diploma or a GED and you are welcome to GMC. Um, we are on the quarter system, which means you earn twice as many credits in a quarter than you do a semester. For our dual enrollment students, we have one of the largest dual enrollment programs in the state of Georgia, which says a lot. Um, so if you are a dual enrollment student, if you are a non-traditional student, or if you're just someone who's wanting to get some additional, you know, education under your belt, call us 478-410-3454 or look us up on the web at gmc.edu. Again, our motto is start here, go anywhere. Hey, Priscilla, thank you so much for helping us to make today and every day a great day for business in Dublin, Lawrence County.